your excuse today. How to create an animation project for uh, the international market. This is the topic of the day uh, based on my experience. Of course, uh, I don't have uh, the knowledge of all uh, projects that can work internationally, but let me share uh, with you my experience. Uh, first of all, yeah. Um, for, first part, how to create a strong concept. Uh, and I would start with saying that a high concept is always easier to sell. Uh, for example, the series Mate is Late is about two kids leaving each morning their houses to go to school. And every day they arrive late at school because something incredible happens on their way to school. This is what we call a high concept, a concept that you can pitch in a sentence only, that anybody can get immediately. This is easier to pitch than, for example, another series that I'm producing, which is called I Elvis Ribaldi, which is a wonderful comedy based on books, but it's just a, 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 an amazing character and his friends, and there is nothing special about the concept. And I can tell you that I Elvis has been a, a tougher sale than uh, Nate is Nate. Uh, second uh, uh, dimension which is important in a concept that will sell internationally, it's the modernity. Is your concept uh, a concept of today or could have it be done 10 years ago? Uh, for example, Boy Girl Dog Cat Mouse Cheese um, is a show about a blended family. Well, 10 years ago, talking about blended family and divorce for kids was a non-go. But now that uh, blended family are uh, more popular among uh, the population in the Western world, we can laugh about it. And therefore, when we pitch Boy Girl Duck at Most Cheese, um, uh, it rings a bell uh, uh, for the broadcasters. And they pick up the show, BBC in England, uh, Nickelodeon in Italy, and Goody in France, just because it was a modern concept. Now, there is another question that we all ask when we develop a project. Shall we go mainstream? or shall we be more singular? Uh, and I would say that until now, I would have recommended to be mainstream because linear broadcasters tend to reproduce shows which have been already successful. So when they look at a the project, they will try to find comparables to show which have been successful on their channels. But things have changed. Platforms are now looking for something which is more singular. And the re that, that's a reason why now in all development slates, we have Main Street projects, but we have also singular uh, projects. That is the same for self-contained or serialized projects. Linear broadcasters, will ask always for uh, self-contained projects. Whereas platforms are looking more for serialized uh, series. And therefore, uh, whereas in the past we had only self-contained projects, now we are developing both self-contained and serialized projects. 
Now, the two last uh, questions that you have to ask about your concept is what about the targets uh, and especially the genres? Um, do we address the girls or the boys or do we try to be gender neutral? That is a question that is recurring for all projects. And my recommendation will be every time, if you want to be successful, to try to address boys and girls alike. Or if your project is more girly or more boyish, then try to make sure that they, they are not exclusive of boys and girls. For example, on I Elvis Ribaldi, I remember that the broadcasters who commissioned the series, including Cartoon Network Europe, asked us to be more gender neutral, and therefore we pushed the uh, uh, friend, uh, the best friend of Elvis, who is a girl, Emma, in order to balance between boys and girls a little bit more. And in terms of targets, it's important that your concept is consistent with your design. I, in the past, happened to make the mistake to have a design that was very stylized, uh, uh, whereas the concept was quite edgy as a comedy. And kids were puzzled. They would believe that uh, because of the design, they would believe it was a preschool show, whereas it was, in fact, a, a, a kid's show. Uh, so make sure that uh, your target is clear, upper preschool, bridge, no, sorry, preschool, bridge, or upper preschool, or kids, and have a design which is completely consistent with the concepts. Um, now, after having uh, think about your concept, you need to work on your characters and how you can create characters who will be appealing to the audience. And first of all, you have to ask yourself, will my character be relatable or aspirational? And to this question, my answer is always, they have to be both. They have to be relatable and aspirational. Think, for example, on, of Nate is late. Nate is late is relatable because Nate and Malika are ordinary kids going to school every morning. So it resonates with the kids' audience. But they are aspirational because they walk alone to school. It's not their parents who walk them alone. And they have great adventures on their way to school. Then another question that you may ask about your characters is, will my characters be leading the stories or will the story be plot driven? This is an important question. And my answer will be definitely your story should be more character driven than plot driven. Uh, because you want the psychology of your character to create the event that will be uh, the uh, storytelling engine. Um, it, it's only maybe for adventure show that there will be more plot-driven story. Um, then um, uh, another question that you may ask is, um, uh, what is my protagonist goal? Um, People tend to forget that because in a series, the characters are always doing the same things. Like I, Elvis, for example, is a goofy character. He's making mistakes all the time, but of course, try to uh, uh, save the day at the end because he understands about his mistakes. But the next episode, he will redo uh, another mistake. Now, it's not because he's redoing things that he doesn't have an overall goal. Maybe not to his knowledge, maybe it's unconscious, but Elvis' overall goal in the series is to try and understand how to behave in society, how to avoid making silly mistakes. 
that is the goal of this character. Um, now, conflicts and antagonists, uh, well, uh, in the past, um, most of the series would have an antagonist. And I remember on Late is Late a discussion with the commissioning broadcasters about the antagonist. Will Nate and Malika have to face an evil antagonist trying to take power over the city they live in? Um, we said that was not uh, uh, needed because we thought that the conflict will be more interesting if it's a conflict with uh, the episodic guests and fantastical creature that uh, uh, arrive in each uh, episode, or even the conflict between themselves, uh, because uh, they are friends, but you know friends, especially when they are kids, uh, conflict with each other, and they have jealousy, competition among themselves that creates natural conflicts that uh, uh, the audience will feel uh, uh, relatable with. Uh, and last but not least, uh, how to make sure that your project can meet your client's expectations. This is something that the Americans will never forget about, but Europeans tend to forget. Because Europeans focus on the content, and once, once they have a great concept and great characters, they go to the market and pitch everyone almost the same way. Whereas you have to adjust your pitch to your clients. And first of all, you have to know the clients. So before you have a meeting with a client, you have to do your work. Go online, check on the shows they have on air. Watch at these shows. Try to understand the editorial line of the broadcasters. And if you're not sure, start the meeting by asking these questions about the editorial line. So that when you do your pitch, you can make sure your pitch has a better chance to match their expectations. Um, also in terms of writing and designing, you have to make sure that your project matches uh, the expectation of your broadcaster. Um, uh, as you can see on these, uh, on these uh, 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 visuals, uh, on screen, uh, some designs are more Cartoon Network-like, some are more Nickelodeon-like, some are more um, commercial or uh, uh, European public television, like Nate is Late, for example. Um, uh, feasibility. This is also something that uh, you have to think about, uh, because uh, your clients as a certain amount of money to invest in your series and it won't change whatever the project is. So there is a standard price in each country for each commissioner and uh, even if your series is very ambitious, uh, they will give you the same money. So you have to make sure that your project has been designed to work within the kind of money, the kind of budget that uh, you uh, may be able to, to rise. And then uh, marketability is another dimension. Uh, how can you uh, um, um, uh, sell not only a concept, but an environment? Uh, just show you an example. Uh, uh, at the moment, I'm developing a show for France Television, which is about animals. Uh, the fact that we are talking to uh, 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 funds uh, and foundations uh, which are involved in protecting uh, the endangered species of animals makes the project much more interesting to uh, any broadcaster in the world than only the content itself, because it's much wider. Uh, and last but not least, the art of pitching. Remember that you will have at most half an hour to pitch your project to a broadcaster. 
And if you take time to ask him questions before to understand more about his needs, maybe you will have only 20 minutes left. And people are being pitched all over the day for three or four days at markets or online. It's even more difficult. So you have to be really quick. Don't start to tell your story in details. Don't lose time telling the background story. Just pitch one or two sentences. Wait that his curiosity lead him to ask you questions and answer the question. Sometimes it's better to let him lead uh, the, the, the conversation. Um, he has to get, you have to create interactivity with uh, your clients when you pitch the show. That will be my recommendation uh, to create an international project uh, in animation. But as I said at the beginning, you never know where the success is coming from. And even by sharing the experience of senior producers, if you believe in your project, if you have confidence in it, that is the most important. And just develop it consciously and go out on markets to sell it. Good luck to everybody of you. Bye-bye.